What's up everybody, this is Butterfish Tank and uh, today we are basically going to talk about um, a care guide on Blue Devil Damselfish. But first of all, I wanted to start this episode by saying uh, my dirty bag has died, I don't know why he died. Um, he didn't have any problems with territory or something like that, but I think he was pretty old actually because he was rather big when I got him, but you know, I don't really um, think there was anything wrong, but um, all of the other fish are doing very well. Um, he died a couple of days ago and it was really sad because he was one of my favorite fish um, but I don't think he really had any problems and um, I just think he died um, um, you know mainly because that he was um, pretty old um, and that was also a reason why he was getting so aggressive um, in the uh, in the last couple of weeks in his life um, but yeah so let's talk about the blue devil damsel fish which is this guy right here um, blue devil damselfish are uh, a very very hardy species of fish, which is very common to damselfish. Um, damselfish are very very hardy just in general, and especially these types of um, of damselfish. Um, they have a really bright um, blue color that is kind of dark blue. Um, it looks really really good, and they 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 really give a lot of um, activity to your tank as well because they swim around like crazy. Um, but a problem with these guys is that they're really really aggressive, and they will actually kill a lot of other fish um, because of territory and this is why you should have a perfect tank for them um, but also be, um, that you should not add peaceful fish with them um, because they might actually just kill them right away so um, let's just talk about tank mates so damselfish, um, the blue devil damselfish usually wants um, you know um, aggressive tank mates because um, aggressive tank mates can defend themselves um, and they can really just nip back at him if he actually uh, nips at, the, uh, at them. So you will kind of get um, a more balance between the aggression in your tank, um, which is very important of course. Um, a, a really cool thing about this fish that you have to uh, notice is that they actually have um, these um, uh, black markings around their uh, eyes which actually makes them look, um, uh, well it looks like eyebrows and it looks like they're really um, angry and they have a spot um, at the back of their top fin um, which is really cool but anyway um, they um, they are very aggressive so make sure to get um, hardy and aggressive fish together with them to make sure that the aggression will be spread out um, as well as that you should make sure that um, you feed them the right stuff you know they're carnivores and they only really eat meat so you gotta feed them some mice shrimp some some meaty pellets I really recommend Fauna Marin that is a really really good brand they really love it um, and uh, you know they, they also really like a very open aquascape um, as you can see in my tank I got a lot of rocks in the middle and in the back and uh, out here in the front it's actually very open and as well in the top so he has a lot of swimming space where he can swim around and just chill and do whatever he wants and um, which is basically very important for um, you know damselfish in general so you gotta make sure that they actually have open swimming space also so that they actually can develop a, a territory um, as well as that you should make sure that um, you don't have um, bigger fish that might eat them of course because that's just you know common sense um, but uh, that, that actually happens sometimes <laughs> Also, some fish just think they're really annoying and will sometimes nip them, um, you know, to death. Um, but, you know, that's just how it is. They're, they're really cheap, actually. They're not very expensive, so you can get them very easily as well. They're really easy to get. Um, almost every uh, common fish still has them, um, so you can just buy them wherever you want. They're really easy to find. But make sure that you get um, a healthy one that isn't inbred or anything like that, because... Um, there are some inbred damsels out there, I've heard, um, but uh, yeah, um, so damselfish are a really good choice. Um, the, what I was talking about earlier, that they're very hardy, that is very, very important. They're extremely hardy, like, it's crazy. They can tolerate pretty much anything, like, the water parameters doesn't, it's like, they can just tolerate everything. It's insane. Some people even cycle their tanks with them, which is just completely insane. And you shouldn't do that, but it's actually possible to do that. Um, I would not recommend doing it though, nobody would, but you know. Um, so, um, you know, um, actually this guy is not very high in my hierarchy in my tank. As you can see, my, my biggest cluggy clownfish is the top of the hierarchy right now, this female right here. 
and she chases everybody that gets near her. Um, he has a, he has actually gotten really really big. Just look at her. Look at her. He she's just gigantic. Look at that. She's really really beautiful. I really like this face. She's um, she's definitely one um, that I really like, and I I can't wait to see her get bigger at some point. Um, really big and fat clownfish just looks really awesome. I don't know why I just love big fish. Um, and they have a really awesome form as well. Um, anyway, um, let's talk about damselfish again. So there's not really a lot more to talk, uh, talk about with damselfish because you know th um, they're very hardy, they're very easy to keep, but they're very aggressive. And the the, the reason this guy is called Blue Devil Damselfish is because the, you know the devil. They they are truly devils. They're really really aggressive, and especially this blue kind. You can get the yellow tail damselfish, and they won't be as aggressive as these guys. Um, but these guys are just really, really, you know, aggressive. So you got to take that into consideration. Um, they're considered one of the most aggressive small reef fish out there. So, um, but I haven't really had a lot of problems with this guy. I gotta admit that. Admit that I haven't really had um, any sort of problems with him. He he does sometimes chase my rats, but that's really all he does. Um, he never does it though. It's only a little bit. Um, so that's kind of cool. But. Um, you know, I really, I'm really happy that I got this fish because I needed a fish that was more out in the open um, and uh, had a lot of blue coloration because I don't really have any blue coloration in this tank and he really just pops out. Uh, so that's awesome. Um, for the breeding of these guys, I don't really know a lot about the breeding with these guys but I actually think it's pretty hard to mix these fish together in bigger schools uh, since they are so aggressive but I know that you can do that with yellowtail damsels and other damsel fish. Um, but yeah, you got you got to remember just feed them some awesome food because they'll just get inc incredible coloration. It's just insane. So get get really good food and they'll be really really happy and you know very healthy and they will live actually pretty long. So that is kind of cool. Um, for the cost of these fish, as I said, they're not very expensive. I think they only cost them um, here in Denmark. Let me just see what that is in dollars. It is about. Probably ten or fifteen dollars. I bought this guy from ten or fifteen dollars, and in between that range at least. And so, um, you know, they're very, very, very cheap compared to other fish, um, and they're very hardy compared to other fish as well. And they're very, very easy to get. So, um, yeah, get one of these guys. If you got a aggressive tank, a semi-aggressive tank, just look. My my clownfish often chases him because he just hates him. But um, you know, if you have a semi-aggressive tank, get one of these guys because their their coloration is just fantastic and they're really really cool fish. So uh, yeah, that is basically all I have to say about the Blue Devil Damselfish. And um, if you like this video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. So yeah, see you guys in another video.